If Google Drive is taking up space on your Mac, watch this. Did you know that App Cache can quietly occupy more than 65 gigabytes on your Mac? Yeah, that happens more than you think. And spoiler, it usually isn't downloads, apps, or photos. It can be your Google Drive cache, pretending it's all in the cloud. Let me show you how to clear that cache properly step by step, plus a way to make sure it doesn't build up again without you noticing. Don't forget to subscribe before we begin. Trust me, you wouldn't want to miss what's coming next. So what even is Google Drive cache and why should you care? Basically, it's temporary data Google Drive saves to help things load faster. And that kind of sounds helpful, right? But over time, this cache can balloon in size and start hogging serious space on your Mac. If you're uploading or syncing a lot, you should probably clear it once a month. But here's the catch. Google doesn't make it easy. There's no big clear cache button like you'd find in other apps. In fact, Google barely even acknowledges that Google Drive has a cache at all as far as their help center documentation is concerned. So from all the digging I've done, I found two solid ways to actually clear it the right way. But let me address two things first. Clearing Google Drive cache in the browser does not mean freeing up storage space. And the real problem is hidden away in one folder you'd never think to check. But all right, here's what you need to do. First, quit Google Drive completely. Click the icon in the menu bar and click on Quit. Then open Finder and hit Command Shift G on the keyboard to open the Go To folder. Here, you're going to paste tilde slash library slash application support slash Google slash Drive FS and hit Enter. Now, open the folder with the long number. That's your account ID. And find and delete any file that has content underscore cache in its name. Just deleting these files can free up a bunch of space instantly. And no, it doesn't touch your actual drive files on the cloud. This just clears the local cache your Mac keeps for offline access. Now, if you don't want to go th digging through system folders every few weeks, there's an easier way. I got tired of poking around in those system folders myself, so I started using this app called Clean My Mac. It's kind of like a shortcut for all that stuff because you run a scan and it finds all the outdated junk, including hidden cache from apps like Google Drive, and you just clean it. Done in like a minute. I also like that you can review everything before you hit clean so you're not guessing or worried you're going to mess something up. And this tool plus 25 others are free for seven days, so you don't have to pay a thing to see what's clogging up your Mac. Now, if you mostly use Google Drive in your browser, there's one more quick thing you can do. You can clear the cache directly in the browser. It won't free up space on your Mac, but it can fix loading glitches or weird bugs in the web app. Here's how you can do it in Chrome. Go to drive.google.com, click the little icon next to the URL, choose cookies and website data, and click manage on device site data. Here, you're going to see a list of sites. In my case, I saw a list of six sites allowed. Find drive.google.com in the list and click the trash icon next to it. Now you're going to confirm and that's it. Again, this won't touch the real storage hogs on your Mac, but it's handy if Drive's acting up in your browser. So here's the deal. If you're trying to actually get storage back, method one is your best bet if you want full control. Method two is the best if you want it done in like a second, a minute, with less risk of breaking anything. And honestly, Clean My Mac made it so easy, I now just run a scan monthly, especially when my Mac starts acting weird or laggy. It's free to try, and it shows you way more than just cash. Send this video to someone who's always complaining about storage and hit subscribe if this helped. See you in the next one.